the sound on the airplanes actually can't be tolerated by the human ear. So you really, you really don't hear the airplane because you have to wear double protection uh, earplugs and then earmuffs over the top of it just to be in the presence of the airplane. It was so loud that as the airplane would take off, you could physically feel the sound in your sternum. Your, your chest cavity would actually vibrate and resonate just from the sound of, of the airplanes. You could feel the sound through the soles of your feet uh, bouncing off the ground. Pratt & Whitney built its test facility in the swamps of Florida uh, and did their engine testings out in the Florida swamps so that they'd be away from population. Well, they put in a PGA golf course many years later and the civilization moved out there and the people got used to the sound because they tested mostly at night and the alligators got used to the sound because they tested mostly at night. But the first time they ran the engine in full afterburner on the test stand at Pratt & Whitney, there were reports the next morning of alligators climbing the fences of people's homes and diving into the swimming pools to get away from the noise. That's a dramatic demonstration of the power of the engines. YF-23 was very powerful. That, the engines, um, I believe there were 38,000 pounds of thrust each. Um, the, the noise from the engines during idling was something that you could feel it vibrate against your chest uh, a lot more than you could a regular airplane. When you heard that thing run, you, you knew it was running. Um, the power was, uh, from what the pilot said, it was just uh, outrageous. The, um, f as I understand, the um, F-16 chase plane had a rough time trying to keep up with it, so they had to move to the F-15 chase plane. Um, because the airplane was so fast.